welcome to the Octocast. Today we've got one member of the Octo team playing Tekkit. That's me, Jack. Uh, looks like I've actually started with a pretty premium place to start, so I'll just like build a shack here and mine, I guess. Um, there's multiple pa paths. I could take with this instead of just going down one specific path though I'm thinking I'm gonna be a hybrid like what I do when on my uh, single player one which I will probably get around to showing you people one day once I become like super premium on that save because that save is actually it's fairly pristine I'm not gonna lie Alright, I will not cheat, I'm not going to hack myself any items, it's all going to be strictly legit. So, first things first, I'll make myself an axe, and a blade. Just those are two very, 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 very vital items. Completely critical to the game right at the start. I mean, look at this. Yeah! Not that I can. There we go. Murdering cows. <laughs> yeah! Ah. I want to have enough so I can make a leather chest plate. Would be cool. Drop two leather! I don't want to completely wipe out all the cows in the area just so I can continue to have uh, access to uh, beef and stuff. Murder the sheep, take his wool. Oh. Drop the two wool I needed, so I will now be able to make wool. Yes, you dropped the two leather I needed. Ugh. See, and people wonder why I, I failed at grammar. Ugh. All right. All right. Uh, we got a cave. Um. Yeah. Okay. So first things first, I'ma uh, plop down. My bench. Oh, I want to put my bench. I'm going to give myself an easy to defend location. So right off the get go, I'm going to have like uh, I'm gonna have a quick built house, like what we were doing on the SMP. Make it spider proof. Uh, Cause. I was, I've, that's the first time I've actually done what I did on the multiplayer, and I was surprised by how well it worked, so I'm going to continue to do that, because I found it was, it actually worked very well. So, yeah, that's probably what I'm going to stick with. I'm going to need a fair amount of wood, though, just to begin, because it's, uh, more complicated. This one is going to be more complicated. The one on the multiplayer was unorthodox because I had to slap it together in like two mi in like two minutes or something. It was like a very minimal minimal amount of time was remaining as to when I had started to build my home because while well, we spent the first half of the day beating the crap out of each other in the woods. <laughs> and then we spent a quarter of that looking for where to build uh, while swearing at each other. Uh, and yeah, I don't know. That first episode was a bit of a mess, I'm going to say. So, but all in all, it's not the worst. It's okay. Check it out if you haven't already. That'd be kind of weird, though. I mean, uh... Yes, 
As you've probably noticed by now, this is probably going to end up being our mainstay thing. Once we all got like SMP, we'll probably start doing multiplayer tech it episodes fairly fast and stuff like that. Once again, I'm going for an unorthodox house. I want to see what I can figure out. Okay, yes, this is going to work. It'll be different than the last one was. I'll give stuff an impossible jump and make it to the walls. Whatever. face. Get out! <laughs> oh, this one should be as difficult. Um, this is, yeah, this is kind of boring already, isn't it? Um, <laughs> I don't know. I don't really know what to talk about. I'm kind of just here. I'm filming because something to do. Plus, it might be entertaining for some people. I I find it entertaining myself to uh, find myself doing these kind of things. So I like. I don't know. See, it started out as just something to do as a hobby with a couple friends. And now we've pretty much decided it's going to be something we're going to do. And I don't know. I I I find it enjoyable doing all this octocast stuff. Uh, I don't know. Earlier today, tensions were running a bit high. Uh, wasn't wasn't very good. Green Fuzzball and I were doing some Hunger Games, which was cool. I if you haven't read the book, I would recommend the book. It's a very very good book. I liked it. It was excellently written and it was it was good. This is not going to be like my SMP house at all, is it? No, it can't be stuff to make that jump. Oh! <laughs> oh, ow. That was... That happened a lot when we were doing SMP yesterday. Brian and his 50 million falls to his death. Oh, balls. I, uh, he was just... Today, he's... School, he's talking about all these things the Octocast should do. I mean, he's got good ideas, don't get me wrong. I like his ideas. But a lot of it was just like really weird and crazy. Okay, the, the point of this wood right here is to be an alarm. It makes a different noise than uh, dirt does. I'm used to playing with a higher volume, whatever. Anyways, when I walk on it, I should be able to tell if I'm backing up too far now. Uh, which is going to be really important because I am likely going to commit suicide more than once off of that that small ledge. Not, not intentional suicide, but suicide nonetheless. Accidental suicide. Sewage aside. Uh -huh. Anyways, so I'm gonna make myself a sword. 
again. And uh, the sun is setting, so I'm not going to go out like I was going to. Because knowing me, I will not want to come out of my cave, and it's the first night, so it's kind of important to come out of it. Like, oh, yes, I forgot I was doing Tuck It. So, uh, Raider's Minimap. Very, very, very useful. Uh, I will make my point dark green. Or not like incredibly dark green so it doesn't blend in with the forest, but dark green nonetheless. Okay. So I will name that point Jack's house. Um, so you can just mark like random points wherever you just. Uh, Default button is the period key, and you just mess around with the waypoints and stuff. It's kind of cool. I like it. Anyways, and up in the bot, the top right corner there. Uh, those of you watching on a smaller monitor, it may be like a huge map, but since I'm playing on a TV, the map is really small. So, uh, yeah. 32 inch LC LED TV. Um, oh, it's night time. I guess I could sleep now, couldn't I? I was just doing stuff with my desk while I was waiting. Grab myself a drink. Mm. Oh, shit. That puts me really close to the edge in the morning. Okay. <laughs> Great way to wake up, great way to wake up. Almost commit suicide getting out of bed. Oh. Uh. Oh well, oh well. Oh! Ugh. All the knees falls. Oh shit, I'm unpeaceful. Uh. Okay, so uh. All those swords and shit was completely pointless. I'm sorry. From here on out, I will con I will play on normal. I promise. I will not cheat at all. I promise that as well. Um, there may s be some stuff that you won't see, like on camera. Like if I'm doing a load of boring shit at the time, I'm not going to have all of that in. For example, all this mining is really stupid and boring. I yeah I understand and um, I will I will edit out the really boring parts of my mining probably because I know I know people don't like watching dry videos makes sense anyways my current goal is 11 cobblestone so I can make a furnace and I pick see this this is copper. Copper is one of your most important techit building thingies, especially for industrial slash buildcraft stuff. Uh, copper is used in pretty much every single basic machine thing that exists. Pretty much everything in the first tier requires like copper wire in it and rubber, which is yeah. I'm gonna need to find a rubber tree. You laugh now, but rubber trees are real. I have winter boots made out of rubber tree rubber. Do you think I can make this jump? Do you think I can make it? Oh, oh. Well, that goes to show that I can make the jump. Damn it, I just would commit suicide again. I need to be careful. I need to also be careful about my mouth. My girlfriend will not watch this if I continue to swear. That's going to be bad. Okay. Uh, I'll stick the coal in there. Yes, I know that may sound like I'm being whipped, but I'm also new to a thing that uh, we're both involved in, so it's, uh, it's a bit of a sensitive thing right now between us, the whole foul language that I have bad tendency towards. If any children-ish people are watching this, I don't advise it. It's very bad. It's very, very bad. It's just like smokes. Don't, just don't, don't swear. Don't, don't be like me. Don't be, don't be like Green Fuzzball after, see, there's, there will be no footage of us playing after 11pm because 
after that point, every second word is the F-bomb, which is absolutely horrible. Actually, it's kind of funny to listen to. He sounds really retarded. And you got to pretty much write down the words in between the F-bomb, because when he's saying fuck all the time, you can barely understand what he's saying. It's just like... It just sounds like a rage, uh, some guy who just rages like a champ. Well, okay, he that's pretty much what he does. You you don't know nothing until you've seen Blackout, though. Black guy will rage for days. Uh, yeah, he's going to be a consistent special guest for the Octocast, by the way. Uh, he is our... Uh, our uh, co-member, uh, what's his face, Swift Knight's best friend, and uh, by association, he's now one of Blackout's also one of my friends. Oh jeez, I can't jump from there. That'll kill me. Uh, I guess I have to. Ah, haha! It's the sound of my legs breaking. All right. Well, let's see, uh, copper ore, it's fancy, it's coppery. I'm not using a texture pack. I may use one eventually, but I won't. Probably won't for Tech It ever. Simply because it's a pain to try and find Tech It compatible map. Mm, maps. Uh, you know, thingies. What am I trying to say again? Tech It compatible texture packs. I am sorry. I am, I am bad with grammar. I am absolutely horrendous with grammar. I get into trouble at school quite frequently from a couple of my friends who are grammar Nazis. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, I wasn't meaning. Uh. <sighs> no, I'm not bad mouthing Nazis. Uh, <laughs> I'm very bad at this solo thing. I'm gonna need to like bring a friend next time or something. I got what? What? There's a cow in my house. What do you think this is? You stupid cow. I can see how he got in here. I mean, I just jumped the wall. So, uh... I'll fix that. Fix both sides. <laughs> I'm gonna leave this open, though. This is going to be like a veranda at some point. I like the word veranda. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I already see where this is going. Right down the shitter. Or something like that. Actually, I can stick my... Oh, wow. <laughs> Good job, Jack. Good job. You were pro. MLG Minecraft is what that was. I got a cow living with me. I'm gonna name him. I don't even know what kind of names you'd give to a cow. Whoa, what? Where's my cow? Oh, there he is. Um, I'm gonna call my cow. No, I can't use that. She'll slap me right in the face. Um. My cow's name is going to be Bob. Bob the cow. Simply because I'm not in the mood to offend one of my friends. Any of my friends. Because I know that if I offend them and put it on YouTube, they will not talk to me for like a week. <laughs> uh, high school is complicated. I, it's, there are days it's just doesn't seem like it's worth it. Trust me, it is completely worth it, but there are days that you just, you come home, and you sit down at your keyboard and your computer, and you're like, uh, well, what, what, what should I do today? What should I do today? And normally you're like a boss at some video game, right? Like, I'm, I'm pretty good at World of Warcraft, I'm not going to lie. I I I am fairly decent. I've done the Deathwing raid. I got I got screwed over and didn't get the title though, so or the achievement. It was glitched out I did it during the first couple of weeks that it was out. 
So uh, there was no title or achievement for me to be, for me to have, which was utterly disappointing. I haven't gotten into a successful Dragon Soul looking for raids since, which sucks. I like Dragon Soul. It's nice. I didn't get any loot, which really, really, really pissed me off. Because it's a raid, right? All the mail that dropped was like healer shaman gear, which was stupid. I don't know why I'm talking about WoW while I'm playing Minecraft. But anyways, back to the point. You get home from like high school, and the first thought goes through your mind is, I'm going to play a game I'm good at. Like, if, if, if you're a video game type, right? I know I'm not the only one, so uh, you can put your comments below what you do when you're having a day like what I'm about to describe. You get home and you sit down to play your game, right, and you get really into it, you get really into it, and something stupid happens and you just face roll the rest, like the last five minutes you're playing or something, or last like half an hour. I they're, they're, like, at some points, I mean, metaphorical face roll, you just kind of mash all the buttons, right? There was one day I, I was actually face, actually, actually face rolling for ten minutes. Uh, I had to quit because I got a bloody nose. I was also trying to film that, and that didn't go over well because I got a bloody nose in the middle of the recording. So, that will not be going on YouTube ever, ever. There will be no me getting a bloody nose while... I have deleted the footage even, so there will be no, no bleeding nose jack on YouTube. That will, <laughs> well, unless it's a different jack, there will be no bleeding nose this jack on YouTube. Oh, but yeah, like lots of lots of people have days like that. You just get, you get home and you try you try your best, and it's just been a stupid day, and something stupid happens in the game, and the first thought goes through your mind is. A string of profane words that's just absolutely horrendous. Everybody has different, um, different string of words. Like uh, mine usually contain a lot of ass, <laughs> a load of old ass. <laughs> Anyways, I am very bad at accents. You'll never meet my mom. Strings will never be attached. We'll always get along. Cause it doesn't.